That law. That law. What up, what up, what up, y'all? Someone only Prophet McFly. On a different vibe right now. Um, so I want to thank everyone for tuning in, tapping in. If you don't know, should know, this is your rant of the day. We on the last day of Black History Month. I'm gonna still keep on hitting y'all with a couple of the other ones I recorded because there's so many facts, factoids, information, history related to Black History Month that is just, it's hard to pack it into the month, but Women's History Month is just as important. The way you break capitalism, socialism, and the way you break the patriarchy is with empowering and enabling women <laughs> and giving them credit for their accomplishments. Just like a lot of black authors, inventors, and other type of artists, you have to work under, get permission to work from, or surname as someone you're not to be able to even be out there to succeed as an artist. It's really crazy. It's insane that we're not that far or as far as from that as we like to think we are. But, um, Today's rant is going to be kind of funny. And um, I'm not even mad about the music in the background. It's been so long since I've felt culture and vibes like that that it's actually highly appreciated. But like I said, today's rant is going to be a little bit different. What I'm going to hit y'all with is a list, an actual list of all the black inventors and inventions. Not all, but like it's a tiny chunk to put this into actual perspective. Sometimes when you have a lot of things to do in the day, the easiest way to knock it out is hit that to-do list and cross it out. So I'm a to-do list, y'all, <laughs> with black history. Bear with me. So we can start off with the AC unit by Frederick Jones, the Almanac by Benjamin Banneker, the automatic cutoff switch by, I think it was Granville Woods? Greenville Woods, something like that? <laughs> Then we got the automatic fishing device by George Cook and the baby buggy. It's so cold. I'm, we have to revisit this when I'm inside. I forgot about that. Twin Cities was built on the ground for a reason shit. Yo, I came from, it was freezing. I had to warm up. Let me get back to it. So, baby buggy was, I think, William Richardson. The blood plasma bag was Dr. Charles Drew. Alexander Ashbourne invented the biscuit cutter like the cookie cutter. And then George Sampson invented the clothes dryer. Um, Ashbourne Dorsey invented the doorknob and doorstop. Let's see what else we got. Uh, Willie Johnson invented the egg beater. And, um, and Ashbourne Dorsey invented the doorstop and the doorknob. And then we have Alexander Miles with the elevator and Louis Lattimore again with the electric light bulb. Fuck Thomas Edison. Joseph Winters invented the fire escape ladder, and Johnson invented the eye patch, the eye protector. Uh, I mean, it's not as cold as Forks, but it was freezing outside. So, um, Thomas Marshall invented the fire extinguisher. I was kind of waiting for the jets to go off, so you guys can actually hear me. But uh, Thomas Marshall invented the fire extinguisher, and say Leonard Bailey invented the folding chair. No, the folding bed. The folding chair was invented by Nate Alexander. Both of those things. So like I said, if I start listing all the things black people created, right, it's a long ass list. <laughs> but let me continue. Like, all music, Robert Fleming invented the gu guitar, black man. That golf tee when you guys afford and all that other shit, that's uh, George Grant, another black man. Ian Newman actually invented the hairbrush like as we know today. So, DJ, I have to give a special shout out to Walter Purvis who invented the hand stamp. No clubbing without that guy. No, no nothing, no world fairs, no, right? Wristbands weren't invented, Tyvex and wristbands weren't invented for another 100 years, so 200 years almost. Uh, Alfred Krell with the ice cream scoop. Niggas was just using spoons before that. Um, Richardson 
invented the insect destroying gun. Uh, I think Sarah Boone invented the ironing board. Then we got John Smith with the water sprinkler, right? So we got John Smith with the water sprinkler, and then John Thomas White with the lemon squeezer. His name might seem familiar, but Elijah McCoy with the lock. Not the same Elijah that you're thinking of as Elijah McClain that was murdered by EMTs and cops by a necessary dose of ketamine from a person that's never been violent in their life and was assaulted on their way home from the store, which we've seen happen again this week in Denver. Freezing cold temperatures and... But again, I digress. The purpose of this rant is just to celebrate all these black inventors because there's so many of them, right? They made so many, like, super necessary things that we forget about that we use every day, like the traffic light. The Mailbox by Thomas George. I'm fucking up. Oh, oh. Totally fucking up. George Washington Carver is the peanut butter guy. Thomas George's the mop guy. <sighs> There's so many apologies. It happens. And I'm not gonna front my body. It's probably like 100 degrees. I should probably yell this bitch right now full of it. Cool. OGs that went to school and used a pencil sharpener as a break. We can thank John Love for that. And the next one is for all the DJs, all the musicians, all the music lovers, audiophiles out there. That the record player arm was invented by Joseph Dixon. John Reed invented the rolling pin and the shampoo headrest, like where you rest. Mr. Charles Bailiff, actually. The Sesa Soap was invented by Thomas Carrington. Straightening comb by Madam C.J. Walker. Charles Brooks invented the street sweepers. Anyway, Granville T. Woods, the phone transmitter. Irony of you guys watching this and not accepting that a phone transmitter was invented to buy a black man, right? And again, Garrett Morgan invented the traffic light. Your thermostat control, that 65 that your mom's a pops and let you touch unless you can get slapped. That was done by Frederick Jones. I think as simple as a tricycle it was invented by a black man, uh, a Mr. Matthew Cherry. I want you guys to like digest that. I'm gonna go set this. Shit off one more time, warm up a little bit more, so I cooled off now. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. My last minute of the day for Black History Month. Fast shout out to Weston for letting me film in here. Um, we recorded a pod this weekend. Can't wait till you guys see it, but like I said, not the point of the rant. The point of this rant is that I think everybody needs to acknowledge before this month's over and we get into celebrating women's achievements that. African American inventors help build this landscape we live on. So if you don't believe that black people built this country for free, for the most part, through slave labor, you are highly diluted to the sins of our past. Our past. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Shit, not this country, this hemisphere. But that's for another rant. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed your Black History Month. Let's make it a Black History Year, y'all. Great another vibes. Play time. Huh?